a little bit about the pool, since that was really the thing that allowed William Conrad to do what he did, his experience in this pool. When the colony first came into being, what was here was kind of a swampy pond. It had snakes, it had frogs, it had turtles. So it was a little bit of heaven for every boy in the colony and the neighbors too. This all would not have been possible without her. <laughs> this, the, the entire colony history, the history of my uncle and so on, none of this would have been documented whatsoever without her. And I think he's, uh, we have a great debt of gratitude as a historian to have documented all this information because up, up until the time he did, nobody had bothered doing it. And this would have been lost forever. So thank you very much. This is a heartfelt moment. Um, it's not something I ever imagined in life. Who has historic markers in their family? I mean, this is just something I wasn't on a bucket list. Who knew this could happen? So we thank the Historical Society immensely. Tom, who has been very much involved in all this. But again, to Bert, my, my dear friend, Bert, my best friend in uh, Chatham, New Jersey, um, I thank you, and from the bottom of our hearts, we are pleased and really, really proud to be a part of it. One, two, three. Beautiful. <laughs> Other the side of the history of what Pat described the colony pool, how it French got a new name. Whatever you want to do.